Hello everyone, it's Adelina for Ellen Hudson. Today I'm sharing a process video for my weekly planner layout in my Canva bullet journal. I'm showing three techniques in my layout today. Creating circles in a layout using the all-in-one journal tool by We Are Memory Keepers. Using the Catherine Pooler inks to stencil and coloring an image with colored pencil and gamsol. The first thing I did is gather all my supplies for this layout. I'll describe each of them as I go through my process. I find it helpful and more efficient to gather my supplies before I get started. Otherwise, I get all these ideas as I'm designing the layout and then I'll change my mind. So if I get everything out at once, um, then I'm more likely to kind of stick to my plan. For this week's layout, I wanted to have a circle theme. So I used my Hero Arts Infinity nesting circle die to cut out a two inch diameter circle from some sticky notes. Then I used my life changing brush by Picket Fence Studios to stencil over my layout with some Catherine Pooler ink and Flirty Fuchsia. And you see me tapping the um, brush on a pad of paper and that's just so that I can vary the intensity of the color in my layout. Next, I went through my Essentials by Ellen Stamps to find a sentiment that summed up this particular week for me. This was the week that we got a crazy amount of snow in the Pacific Northwest, and I was so over it when I saw this sentiment from um, Julie Ebersol's set called over it. I knew it was the perfect sentiment for this layout. I like to try to find sentiments that are bold graphics that kind of sum up the week for me when I do these layouts. I just think it's kind of fun to have a catchphrase for my page. I use the all-in-one journal tool by We Are Memory Keepers to draw the circles for this layout. You'll see me first um, test out the circle to make sure that I'm aligning it correctly in pencil and then once I got a feel for how I wanted to lay them out I went straight to pen. And the nice thing about this tool is that it gives you the diameter for in inches for each of the circles on that little circle tool. So you'll see the numbers uh, listed there. So that was super helpful. I knew that I'd use two inch diameter so I just kind of went through, ran the um, measurement along my circles and it went fairly quickly. I used the Catherine Pooler ink Aquatini to add some snowflakes from the pattern play set by Brandy Kincaid to the layout. When I write my dates in for the layout, I always go in straight away with um, ink. So you see me here looking back at the date just to make sure that I'm starting with the right date so I don't start off with a mistake. Once I finished that up, I decided to add a few more images to my layout. This week was Valentine's Day, so I added a little sentiment love and then a heart. Then I decided to go back to my all-in-one tool and uh, add some arrows to my layout uh, just to give some direction. Since this isn't a linear layout, I wanted to kind of um, add a little extra something to kind of direct um, attention as to the pattern for the dates. Once that was finished, I was ready to go ahead and add in my leading lady. I decided on the holiday shopper lady for this layout because though I'm sure Brandy intended her arms to be up to be holding bags, for this particular layout with the sentiment over it below, I felt like she was just saying, really? Because that's what I kept saying every time I woke up and there was more snow. <laughs> So I used the Catherine Pooler Mini ink in Midnight to stamp her in place. And I really like the saturation that I get on the first stamp. Since I can't use my Misty with this, uh, I really only get one shot at um, stamping this image in place. This is the first time that I've used colored pencils and Gamsol with the Canvo Bullet Journal. So I didn't know how this was going to go. Um, and it actually worked out great. There was no uh, bleed through of the gamsel to the other side um, at all, and the paper worked perfectly as a smooth finish with the colored pencils. 
So once I had that completed, I finished coloring my shop bird lady and gave her a little bit of dimension. Um, and that pretty much wrapped up my layout. I hope this inspires a layout for you in your Canva bullet journal. Thanks so much for stopping by today. And if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. All the details for the blog post can be found in the description below or the Ellen Hudson blog. Thanks for watching and have a great day.